the Indian Navy announced the commissioning of the third Visa Kapanam class destroyer named Anas Infa, HAL number D68. This ship is within the framework of Project 15B, which is an important step in the development of the country's shipbuilding industry. INS Infar, a stealth guided missile destroyer designed by the Indian Naval Design Bureau and manufactured at the Master Conduct Shipyard in Mumbai, with a displacement of 7,400 tons and an overall length of 164 meters, Infar possesses many of the world's leading advanced technologies, according to Defense News. The INS Infar is constructed using indigenous their DMR249A and is among the largest destroyers constructed in India. The ship is a potent platform capable of undertaking a variety of tasks and missions, spanning the full spectrum of maritime warfare. It is armed with supersonic surface-to-surface -surface BrahMos missiles and barrack at medium range surface to emissars. Two worlds under sea warfare capability, the destroyer is fitted with indigenously developed anti submarine weapons and sensors, prominently the hull mounted sonar Hamsa NG, heavy weight torpedo tube launchers, and anti submarine warfare rocket launchers. Other weapons include one Automotora 76mm naval gun, four AK-630M closing weapon systems, two OFT 12.7mm M2 stabilized remote control guns. It is fitted with a modern surveillance radar, which provides target data to the gunnery weapon systems of the ship. The IAI ELM 2248 MF Star S Band AESA radar, Terma Scanter 6002 X Band Multifunction Surface Search Radar, Thales LW08 D Band Air Search Radar. The ship is equipped to fight under nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare conditions. Significantly more vaster than the previous classes of destroyers and frigates in naval inventory, the Infar's own route capability against enemy submarines, surface warships, anti ship missiles, and fighters will enable it to operate independently without supporting vessels and also to function as the flagship of a naval task force. Infar has been delivered to the Indian Navy more than four months ahead of the contractual time as the most combat-worthy platform to date. Infar is the first among own P-15B ships which is to be fitted with upgraded BrahMos missiles having dual role capability of long-range and land attack. Further, Infar is the first naval warship being commissioned with accommodation of Guaman officers and sailors. The ship can accommodate a crew of 312 persons, has an endurance of 4,000 nautical miles, and can carry out a typical 42-day mission with extended mission time in out-of-area operation. The ship is equipped with two helicopters on board to further extend its reach. The Infar is prepared by powerful combined gas and gas propulsion plant consisting of four reversible gas turbines, which enables her to achieve a speed of over 30 knots. The Infar boasts of a very high level of automation with sophisticated digital networks such as Gigabyte Ethernet based ship data network, combat management system, automatic power management system, and integrated platform management system. 
The indigenous content in P15B class destroyer is 72%, which is a notch above their predecessor, P15A and P15 class destroyer. Mazaconduct Shipbuilders Limited, formerly called Mazaconduct Limited, is a shipyard situated in Mazacon, Mumbai. It manufactures warships and submarines for the Indian Navy and offshore platforms and associated support vessels for offshore oil drilling. The MTR has always been at the forefront of the nation's progressive indigenous worship and submarine building program.